G'day guys, it's JD here. Welcome back to my channel. Peace. Today we're shooting with the Sony a7 IV and the Zeiss 35mm f2.8 lens in the Melman CBD. We're also packing a couple of Flash Q speed lights. Let's go. Even though it's a dry day, it's overcast today. I'm looking forward to getting some shots with the Sony a7 IV. Should be good fun. And lucky we brought in the flashes because it's so overcast. I'll try and get a photo here on the corner. Let's just take a test shot to test the exposure first. That looks pretty good. Now what we've got to do is introduce our flash. I want to keep the I want to keep the um, flash power down and conserve battery power. Probably best I raise the ISO. So I'll, I'll bring the ISO up. So let's bring the ISO up to uh, 320. We'll take another shot. You see. That's a lot better. That's really good. Have a good day. We've got a couple of good shots here. We'll move on. I always look for something that looks really good in the scene. Something that stands out. Like that old national bank building across the road. And that would make for a good uh, subject in the scene. What we'll do, we'll try and set up a flash on the pole here. And then that way, when people cross the street there, just give them a little kiss of light to uh, separate them from the background. So what I've done, I've mounted the flash at full power on the pole. So you can, uh, you can see that. So let's give it a go. Yeah, really? You just need someone to walk into the scene. And we've got to get our, our composition right. And that looks pretty nice. But there's uh, no one to shoot. <laughs> it's pretty quiet in Melbourne again today. So by rights, we get our composition right. And there you go, we've got a shot. And it's a cracker of a shot too. Have a look at that. The settings were... 1 250th of a second, F2, ISO 320, and the flash power, the flash power was set at 1 to 1 flash power, and we're on the corner of William Street and Collins Street in Melbourne. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Give that another go. You can see what's going on here. You can see exactly the composition. Here comes the subject now. One, two, three, fire. One, two, three, fire. The flash fired on the first shot and not on the second. That's because we're shooting at one to one and it takes a little while for the flash to recycle its charge. Yeah. All right, let's find another location. We're just back from the corner of Queen Street and Collins Street. And I like this building here. It's built in 1892. I like the tree in front of us there. I think that looks pretty good. And I also like the uh, the ambience just around here. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to flash. So we're going to put a flash on this pole here, face the light towards the corner. And what I like to do got to check the exposure you know like the like you should use a light meter but we can get away with it and just take a just a flash do a flash and then you get an idea where the lights hitting and I'm thinking it's in the right place so now what we're going to do we're going to place ourselves in a position where we like the composition I'm going to go back over on them steps hopefully if somebody walks by they'll get flashed in the right spot so the light should be balanced with the tree just behind them. so let's get set up you ready so let's just have a look that looks pretty good some people coming now so I really should check out my composition take a test shot and the lights not enough so we've got to raise the power on the flash now I'm hoping that it's the signal, the communication between the flash 
receiver and transmitter is good. And we'll try again. Ready? One, two, three. Missed it. Got it. Okay. We'll try again. So that was pretty good. So let's just have a look what we've got. Okay. It's pretty balanced, but we need a kiss of light in the foreground. Looking at uh, these shots, they're really nice, but I think we could just have a little kiss of light on their faces. So we've got that second flash in my pocket, and uh, we'll put that on. We'll bring the flash power down to about an, uh, an eighth, and we'll try that. Now, a test like this, and the other flash that you can see over there, that's going to be our rim light. So we would go like something like this. I think it's still not quite enough. That's nice. Try again. Ready? One, two, three. And that's not bad. Street photographer, have a good day. Try again. Street photographer, have a good day. I don't know what we got. That's pretty good. I cut it from his hand, so. So I'm going to take my time and set up the camera for the composition. I like that. I think that looks really good. So when someone walks in the frame, like that. So we'll try again. So we've got everything going. Looks pretty good to me. One, two, three. Street photographer, have a good day. All right, this is our last uh, go at this corner. And then we're moving on. So. We know we've got the zone focusing pretty much right, and for the lighting, it's pretty much right. You don't want to start them with the lighting, so I'll try again. One, two. My glasses keep falling down, so trying a street photographer. That's a good shot. All right, you get the idea. That's a bit like Rembrandt lighting. Come on, we'll move on. Well, that was a lot of fun, guys. We'll we'll head up to Chinatown now. We'll try and get a few shots in Chinatown. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, let's give that a go. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the little Sony A7 IV with the little size 35 millimeter on the front. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good little combination. So we're heading down towards Elizabeth Street and Collins Street. It's still overcast. Hey guys, so we're in Chinatown and we're going to set up our two speed lights somewhere along the way. We're just going to uh, find a spot at this spot here, adjacent to the ancient, time, ancient Times house. Where am I talking about? Right here, right next to Shanghai Village. Yeah. Shanghai Village, ancient times house, next to Empress of China. Yeah. And this must be called Market Lane. Hey guys, so it's a time lapse from here on in until the end, and then there's a montage of pictures, so hang around, <laughs> then I'll uh, say goodbye. But I uh, just wanted to say that you've got to get a flash if you haven't got one yet, get yourself a little flash, and I highly recommend getting the GoPro magnetic bracket you'll have more fun with this than any other bit of camera gear that you buy i reckon in 2024 if you haven't got it yet uh, particularly if you couple them together without it i don't know what you do i guess you can put it on your gopro <laughs> yeah, anyway uh I, I really would like to hear that you you're going to have a go of flash and i'll give you the best way to start just put your camera on your sync uh, flash sync speed which is usually around 200th of a second or 250th of a second start out with your aperture about 5.6 I think and put the little flash cue on the bracket stick it on something magnetic like your refrigerator if you want to try it at home first and put the flash power up to at least half I reckon at least half to full power to start and then just dial down the flash if, you, if your exposure is too bright just keep increasing your aperture until you get a nice exposure and if it's too dark just open up your aperture until 
you're happy with the exposure. Yeah, and it's pretty simple. And then what I would do is just walk around in like a little arc around the flash and you work it out exactly where to get the best shots. And before you know it, I reckon your shots with flash will far surpass mine. Yeah, definitely. All right, I look forward to uh, seeing you. Later on. Cheers. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.